Hey everyone, this is Dama Aguilar from Track Attack, and I wanted to show you all a new awesome feature that we're rolling out, which is compatibility with uh, Track Attack with iRacing. We're in the car, and one of the things that you want to make sure to do is that, that you have telemetry that's actually being logged. So you can see down here on the bottom right, on bottom left, you can see that I'm, uh, I have telemetry turned on, and that's what we need to be able to log data and then be able to retrieve it later on after the session. So I'm going to go through here, and I'm just going to drive a few laps, um, and that way we can generate some data. All right, so we're out of the sim, and I'm gonna show you all how to get the data into track attack. So, let me say quit. Yep, we wanna save. Sure, I'll save this replay. Okay. All right, so, you wanna open up track attack. And we could, you could have added open if you wanted to beforehand, but I'll show you all where iRacing uh, saves data. So it's under documents, iRacing, and telemetry. So here's where it saves data and as you can see here's the latest data that I had which is October 14th 5 15 p.m. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that that path and by default unless you change it somehow in the settings this is where all of your data will be logged. So you go into track tack, hit import, copy and paste the path, and there's the one they're talking about. Hit open. All right, so now, as you can see, the, the set, all the laps are there. You want to make sure that the, uh, the proper layout is selected here. So I was actually doing Sonoma Raceway Long. And it'll recalculate the lap times based off the start finish line. But the, the start finish line for this is all the same. Uh, you can change the driver here. And, and in the drop down, it'll have all of the drivers that uh, that are associated with you in one way, whether you have uh, are the same team or you've shared data with them, etc. And then you can also come over here and um, share sessions uh, data with other people. So I'm gonna go in here, go in here and put Grizzly Builder, and then I'll share with somebody. Another feature here is unmapped channels. So these are channels that we found in the telemetry file, and this applies to all uh, types of data um, that we weren't able to figure out exactly where they were. And you can come in here and tell the, our platform what they should be. But you see a lot of these here are, are channels that um, you don't really need, or at least we don't care about right now, like windshield tear off, did that happen? Wedge adjustment, what was the, uh, t the cold tire pressures? And we'll go ahead and hit import session. So. Uh, we go ahead and import session. I already had the split times view open, but basically that's it. it, it everything's completely open. Um, and what's happening now is uh, down here, if you look at the bottom right, since we imported a new session, we're able to go and um, uh, upload that data uh, to the server so that way it becomes available. But we automatically open up, uh, open up a, a session file and select the three fastest laps in that session. So you can kind of see uh, what's going on here, where the time was ga gained and lost. What I find the most valuable here is that um, the split time report. So we can see here that my uh, rolling best was actually a 45.9. So uh, if we ignore the, the start finish line, um, just what the actual true pace of what I was doing uh, uh, could have been there. And then the theoretical fastest lap was a 45.4. Um, and it shows you here, I had, it gives you an idea of where you can go in and work at. The last thing that I want to show is all the channels. So as you can see, we are logging a ton of data uh, from from iRacing, and it's all available uh, here for you all to, to, to use and analyze. But that's basically it. Like I said, everything's here is synchronizing. Um, I'm sharing sessions, so you see it's uploading the data. There's a bunch of data to be uploaded.